The Florida Panthers just pulled off the single biggest series upset in NHL history, beating the Boston Bruins in seven games. What's worse, the Bruins held a 3-1 series lead and surrendered the lead in Game 7 to Florida with only one minute left in regulation. The Boston Bruins set the NHL record this season for wins in a season with 65 and for points with 135. The team lost only seven games at home throughout the entire course of the regular season. They lost three games at home in a seven-game span against Florida. For a team that was truly cup or bust, the way the Bruins went out makes the season seem like a failure. With near-perfect goaltending, stars firing on all cylinders, and excellent depth all around, the team was expected to at least advance a few rounds before there was any expectation of losing. But what the Bruins fell victim to was something that plenty of other teams have dealt with and has happened in every season since 2013. The Boston Bruins fell victim to the President's Trophy curse. For those unaware, the President's Trophy curse is the idea that the team with the most regular season points never, or rarely ever, wins the Stanley Cup and often gets eliminated early on. The team that most recently overcame the curse was the 2013 Chicago Blackhawks. These Hawks were one of the strongest teams in NHL history and were part of a span in which we saw what was arguably the NHL's most recent dynasty. The President's Trophy curse is an interesting subject because obviously teams that win the award do and have won the cup, as should be expected of the best teams in the league. The question is more about how often these top teams should be expected to win the cup and whether the results match that or not. With Boston's 2023 President's Trophy win, there are now 37 NHL teams who have won the award since its inception in 1986. Eight of those 37 teams have won the Stanley Cup. In total, that gives us about 22% of the President's Trophy winning teams with Stanley Cup victories, which doesn't sound bad at all. Over one in five President's Trophy winning teams won the Cup, which is certainly more than could be expected from any seed other than the top one. However, if we look from 2000 onward, we have 23 President's Trophy winners and 4 Cup winners, about 17%. From the 2005 lockout year onwards, we've had 18 President's winners and 2 Cup winners, about 11%. As more teams enter the league and the talent gap closes, the rate at which the best teams win decreases, which makes sense. Teams are closer in skill level to each other than ever before, and thus a President's Trophy winning team isn't significantly stronger than the second place team. Except, that's not entirely true. Even with more teams and a closer talent gap, the Boston Bruins set historical records. They finished 23 points above second place Carolina, which is the same level of distance between a team that just missed the playoffs on the final day, Pittsburgh, and a team that's been tanking pretty much all season, Montreal. Boston proved themselves as a level above everyone else in the regular season, and yet still lost 4 out of 7 games against the Florida Panthers, a team 43 points behind them. 2023 Boston is in a league of their own when it comes to regular season success, as their many newly held records prove. Among the best of the rest, they're certainly not alone in upsetting playoff losses. The next best team to win the President's Trophy was the 1995-96 Detroit Red Wings. This 62-win team boasted an incredible seven Hall of Famers, most notable among them that year being Sergei Fedorov, Steve Iserman, and Nicholas Lindstrom. The team made it to the third round, before losing to the eventual cup champion Colorado Avalanche. While this wasn't a majorly disappointing loss, Detroit was the favorite to win the cup both prior to and throughout the entirety of the 95-96 season. The season afterwards, the Red Wings and Avalanche matched up again in round three. This time, the Red Wings won both that series and the Stanley Cup. The 1996-97 Avalanche at least had their last year's cup as a consolation prize, in addition to that season's President's Trophy. After Boston and Detroit, the third most successful regular season President's Trophy winning team is the 2018-19 Tampa Bay Lightning. This 62-win team is well known for equaling and breaking records, being stacked top to bottom, and being swept in the first round by the eight-seeded Columbus Blue Jackets. While it's arguable that Boston's loss was worse in terms of base result, 
there's no question that the way Tampa lost was more shocking. The 1819 Tampa Bay Lightning scored only 8 goals in the 4 game series, while Columbus scored 19. It was an embarrassing effort on the part of the Lightning, all to lose to a team that would go out in 6 games the very next round. The 2022-23 Boston Bruins, the 1995-96 Detroit Red Wings, and the 2018-19 Tampa Bay Lightning are the three teams in NHL history that have won the President's Trophy with 60-plus wins. None of them won the Stanley Cup, and only one made it past the first round. It's hard to see Detroit's playoff loss as a failure, given that they lost to a very good Avalanche team in a close series. For the other two, it's not just about them losing, it's about how they lost. Two of the best teams ever assembled, both out in the first round to teams expected to be significantly worse than them. This is a very common trend in recent President's Trophy winners that doesn't seem to make sense. 2022's Florida Panthers won their first round series after winning the President's, only to be swept by Tampa Bay in the next round. The 2012 Vancouver Canucks lost in the first round in five games to Los Angeles. And, both the 2016 and 2017 Washington Capitals had troubles with their first round opponents before losing to the Pittsburgh Penguins both years. President's Trophy winning teams do not just have a history of losing in the playoffs, they have a history of losing in brutal fashion, in ways that teams of their skill levels should not be losing in, and rarely even make it within striking range of an actual Stanley Cup championship. So, why is this the case? Additional teams and a closer league skill gap are two reasons we offered earlier, but we know that can't be the entire truth. Another explanation that would especially make sense in recent seasons is the immense pressure that these teams are feeling. More than ever before, teams, players, and coaches are accessible through social media and other channels. It's a lot easier for those inside organizations to see or hear things that might put them off of their game, things that players in the past wouldn't even have to think about. Elite athletes are made to deal with pressure throughout the entirety of their careers, leading up to, and as a part of, the NHL. At the end of the day though, they're only human, and maybe the pressure gets to them more than they let on. Throughout the history of President's Trophy winners, the success rate for winning the Stanley Cup also is actually pretty good, at about 22%. The interesting thing is that as you scale to better teams and more recent victors, the odds of winning both trophies in the same year decreases dramatically. Teams have increasingly lost out on winning both, and have suffered defeats in more dramatic and embarrassing fashion. Whether you believe the President's Trophy curse is real depends more on whether you believe in the existence of curses than finding appropriate statistical data. Stats do suggest that President's Trophy Cup winning teams have decreased over time, but even an 11% win rate since 2005 is pretty solid. In theory, first place should still be the best place to finish, and there's obviously no way to prove a curse is real through statistics. What is much more likely to be real is the immense pressure these top teams face. Pressure that despite the incredible skill levels many of these teams possess, can affect elite athletes just like any other person. The Boston Bruins were the latest example of a top team failing, and they did so spectacularly. The Bruins look to be a unique scenario in which the team likely won't be anywhere near this level of success next season, given possible retirements and contract expirations. You never know for the Bruins though, because in their best seasons, the Detroit Red Wings and Tampa Bay Lightning both failed to win Stanley Cups just to win them the next year. Maybe the Bruins aren't done just yet. Maybe all they need is to not win the President's Trophy.